I wish this is something that companies can learn from, something that can give them ideas that they would not have thought out on their own. And this wishlist video is not an exception either. Today I'm going to tell you guys what are my wishes for the game. I will not include general wishes such as balance the game, include this character, better netcode, yada yada yada. No, I tried to be a little bit more original. And now, without further ado, Let's get right into the first wish, which is multiple game modes. The games that CyberConnect2 put out are one of the most enjoyable games, however, after a while, they feel dry, they feel repetitive. How can we avoid this issue, you might ask? That's an amazing question. People have been crying out for tournament slash endless mode in Demon Slayer, and while it is something that should be implemented in the game, I feel like the game mods are something that could get improved on. Even if the mod that gets added turns out to be as uninteresting as League used to be in Storm 4, means that there's something we can play. I remember back in the days when Storm Revolution was being promoted that I got so hyped up about the game just because I saw that the game had a mode where multiple people can fight each other. Well, in the end it turned out to be a single player feature which is a bummer because if that mod just got added to the game, Oh, oh man, that, that mod could have been so fun. Like, who cares if it's unbalanced or not? The more mayhem, the better. Anything that lets multiple people get involved in the game is a huge success. And even if the mod itself turns out to be a failure, it just means that there's more room to improve. This might sound as a radical advice, but I will say, throw shit at the wall. And if it sticks, use it. So basically what this means is that get the whole developer team together and throw out the weirdest idea that you can think of and who knows, some might turn out to be interesting. Add them into the game and if it's good, you're gonna hear about it. The next thing that is on my list is that the communication gets improved between the publisher slash developers and the player base. Okay, I get it, we are toxic. That's sadly something that some bad boys tend to do, but that's not all of us. Today is the golden age of the internet. If we could talk or give feedback to a representative of a company, that would be awesome. I know that there are multiple things that a company cannot share, cannot confirm, and I'm not asking for the confirmations, no. However, let's assume that Storm 5 is coming and we had a platform where we could ask about what the game's name is going to be. Then the Bandai Namco representative came out and said, it is way too early to confirm anything, but we are working hard to deliver quality, like, that would be awesome! Essentially, what this statement means is that, yeah, we are working on the thing, we are trying our best, but we cannot talk about it just yet, have patience. Of course there would still be people who would start mayhem, but those are the people that have to be ignored. And if you have a community behind you that knows that you are trying your best, but you just cannot share what you are trying about, they will for sure stand up to you. I will at least, like, I will for sure stand up for you. Okay, so here's the last thing that I would love to be added into the game, and it might sound uh, weird, but the thing that I would like to be added into the game is called Spotlights. Okay, let me explain. We all know that nowadays content creators are one of the best ways to promote the game, right? Youtubers, streamers, all of them are making some type of content, be that a guide or a community tournament. I play multiple games and this idea comes from the old blizzardbattle.net client, but there used to be a section where the company was promoting random creators at different times. Imagine playing the game, going online, the thing Lopku is having a podcast with multiple creators, or Afrosenji is making a tournament, or just simply you, yourself, the company, is promoting their own made events. This would be once again a bridge between the community and the company itself. So yeah, these are my wishes that I hope Bandai will listen to. And if even just one of them turns out to be true, turns out to be reality, I will be happy. But hey, what are your wishes for the game? Scroll down and share them with me in the comment section. And that's it for today. Hey guys, before you go, I need you to comment. I need YouTube to recognize me. Give me 10 comments. Thanks boys. Peace.